All right, let's talk about the balance between YOLO, you only live once, and financial freedom, which is bills, assets paying bills. There is a tension and there is also uh, a complementary benefit to each other. So I'm not millennial. Did you notice? <laughs> How could you guess? But I still subscribe to some things like, I know we're, only gonna, we're all gonna die. And if we're all gonna die, I wanna live what you might call, even though it's a well-mocked phrase, your best life. I absolutely want to have a life that is meaningful and not squished and squashed and cramped into a, an office, you know, where you can't turn off the heating, let alone the office politics. I mean, who wants that kind of life? And, and most of us at some point have endured that kind of life and just gone, this can't be for me. This, can't, this, this cannot be uh, the life that I have for the rest of my life. But what do you do? Do you just throw it all up? Morning. Do you throw it all up and, and uh, just jump for the stars, jump in a plane, and then I've got nothing to back you up? Because, honey, you're probably not gonna die out in a blaze of glory like James Dean. You're probably gonna get wrinkly. Some of us do. You're probably gonna have families or decide not to have families, but have responsibilities. And you're probably gonna get to an old age and need to look after yourself. So how do you balance living now and living forever or as forever as your life can be? To me, this is where property comes in. Um, I am happy that I, I'm very glad because look, I'm now literally doing YOLO. <laughs> but at my age, honey, <laughs> no millennial. Um, for me, this is where financial uh, freedom is. It, it, and it's, it's basically that old school Robert Kiyosaki, assets pays bills. Th there's just nothing else, assets pays bills. So you've either got swapping your time for money for the rest of your life in a day job and then grabbing a few weeks holiday, or that's okay. Or you've got, he's being very kind, and uh, or you've got assets paying bills. And financial freedom where you spend a period of time, like I spent, well, eight and a half years really, but kind of just over a decade, getting those assets to pay those bills, then flipping it around and then going, okay, my assets are now paying my bills, so now I'm gonna choose my time. And me, I choose 182 days holiday, 183 days working, and I work really hard when I work, and I really enjoy it. That's, that's a nice balance between YOLO, where you throttle up in the air, and there are, there's nothing underneath you, and actually choosing a life. So I could keep going buying houses, but what's the point? It's not gonna make any difference to my life. And I will, by the way, um, but right now I'm paying those houses off. Uh, at the same time as expressing my freedom, which is not in, a, in an office. So, what's the plan, Stan? Accept that you're either gonna work semi-hard for the rest of your life, or you work crazy, 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 crazy hard and pile all the resources of time, money, and skills into property for a, infinite, uh, a period of time, sorry, a finite period of time, get those assets, pay those bills, go on holiday. Good luck. <laughs>